Hey everyone, it's Eric here from my525XL, just giving you a quick update on my tank. Um, haven't added any livestock or anything, uh, but I do have one source of frustration I will share with you. Um, but just the tank itself, sorry the lights are on mostly blue right now, so I don't think it's going to be a great picture. But um, the uh, rabbit fish I added a few weeks ago is doing fine, holding his own with the uh, flame angel there. They keep going head to head here and there, but uh, today seems to be a... Uh, aggravation day for the two of them but other than that all the corals doing well my parameters are pretty steady uh, nothing's really changed there I noticed this green leather coral is really starting to blossom now um, getting a lot fatter which is great but it's gonna end up like that guy soon so I'm gonna have to do some trimming <laughs> I hate that part it's so gross uh, but everything else is doing well the Duncan the uh, torch GSP is staying where it should. It's actually got a little bit of growth on it, but I'm not too concerned. It's really isolated to the rock now, so I'm not worried there. Uh, green hairy tip mushrooms are doing well. Um, acros are slow growing if they're growing. I don't know. The one in the back seems to be growing more. And then the Florida Recordia is doing quite well as well. It's actually split off uh, in three parts. You can't see the third parts behind there. So. Anyway, doing okay there, um, but what's happened to me now, and pardon the noise because the furnace is on with the AC, um, <clears throat> this is the dose unit that I use to do the automatic top-offs with uh, my bucket of salt water down there, and now what's happening is, and I'll show you, uh, I am getting a red light on here, which I think is a hardware issue. So really kind of annoyed with that because I just sold my spare dose unit, of course. Uh, so I'm kind of screwed for my automatic water changes right now. So I, I don't know. I'm I'm way out of warranty. So this thing's uh, a couple years, a couple years old now. So if any of you guys have any good suggestions on tools for automatic water changes, I don't really want to buy another Neptune dose uh, unless I really have to. Um, they're kind of pricey so I don't know if uh, I know Kmore makes a unit uh, but I haven't I don't think I've seen them in, for sale here yet uh, or they're coming out with one but I think the price range is almost going to be the same if not more so I'm kind of really stumped on what to do I'm not really looking forward to carting buckets back and forth but I'm gonna have to do that for a while um, I'm pretty sure it's not just uh, I think it's internally the pump inside. I don't think it's this piece. I took off the wheel and cleaned it and put it back on. Um, doesn't seem to make a difference. So, so anyway, that's my problem right now. Uh, I really can't whine and complain too much because it's really been hands off for a couple of years. Um, but yeah, so that's my newest challenge on the tank. <laughs> Got rid of all the algae with the Flux RX and now my, my dose is... Uh, packing it in anyway hope you guys out there are doing well uh, questions comments leave them down below um, I notice I am getting a, f a bunch of feedback on the Kmore uh, um, dosing pump about people having problems connecting Wi-Fi dual band I haven't had any issues at all it connected pretty quickly um, I didn't have any grumbling from the unit I was able to find it right away so I don't know what to make of that but I'm replying to those posts and questions as I get them so Anyway, uh, if you guys have feedback on a nice new way or a reliable way for water changes, I would hear, I'd would i love to hear from you. Um, if I have to, I'll go back and get another dose. But anyway, I'm always up to trying new stuff too. So anyway, hope you guys are staying safe. Um, questions, comments, leave them down below. And until we chat again, happy reefing.